The least expensive, easiest, and healthiest way to maintain your teeth is by keeping them clean. Whether performed at home or at your dentist's office, cleaning your teeth is an essential part of maintaining a healthy mouth and body. The most common enemy in the battle to keep teeth clean is plaque. Plaque is a sticky substance that attaches to teeth. It is composed of various components including bits of food and bacteria. The accumulation of plaque depends on factors such as tooth shape, oral environment, types of food, and salivary flow. When plaque is allowed to stay on your teeth for an extended period of time, it can create problems such as gum irritation and cavity formation. It can also lead to more serious conditions such as periodontal disease. Frequent brushing and flossing is very important to diminish the possibility of these problems occurring. Brushing is a simple and easy way to remove plaque from visible tooth surfaces. Proper brushing technique involves a little thought and diligence, but the rewards are many. First, the toothbrush must be soft. Hard bristles can cause injury to the gums and can prematurely wear the enamel and dentin. Choose a brush that feels comfortable in your hand with a shape that allows you to clean the areas of your mouth that are difficult to reach. A toothbrush with a compact head is often able to reach areas a larger one cannot, and a smaller one provides better control and feedback. Your toothbrush must also be in good condition. Bent bristles hinder good toothbrush control. When your toothbrush shows signs of wear, replace it. Once a good toothbrush has been found, it's time to brush. Have a plan in mind where you start and end your brushing. An effective system may include starting on one side of your mouth and moving to the other, or moving methodically from the middle to the back. What is important is that you are consistent with your technique and that all the areas are reached. Begin by placing the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle to your teeth at the gum line. This allows the bristles to clean under your gums as well as some of the areas between your teeth. Then start making small, soft circles with the brush, creating a polishing motion. Slowly move from tooth to tooth, giving each enough time to be fully cleansed. A typical brushing should take approximately two minutes to complete, if done correctly. Remember, the longer the toothbrush is in your mouth, the more thoroughly it will get your teeth clean. When you transition from one hand position to another, be careful not to skip over teeth as you move. Pay attention to cleaning the inside surfaces of your teeth and be especially diligent in reaching behind the back of your back teeth. If you feel that your technique for toothbrushing is not adequate, you may want to consider using an electric toothbrush. A well-designed electric toothbrush can do a great job of cleaning your teeth and, over time, may even reduce gum pocketing. Once the teeth are cleaned by brushing, it is time to clean the critical spaces between the teeth by flossing. There are many types of dental floss available. The floss you use should be comfortable for you and should be able to successfully remove the plaque from the areas between your teeth. Begin by pulling about 18 inches of floss from the container. A short piece of floss will be difficult to use and ineffective. Get a good grip on the floss. One very good way is to create an anchor for the floss by wrapping the floss gently on your middle fingers. The index fingers and thumbs are then used to place the floss between the teeth. Using a slow and gentle back and forth motion, Move the floss through the tight area where two teeth touch one another. Once you have passed the tight spot, do not continue with any sawing motion because doing so can create cuts in your gums and even damage your teeth. The floss can now be positioned against the side of one of these teeth. Make a wrapping C shape around the tooth and gently move the floss up and down, wiping the plaque from the side of the tooth. When the side of one tooth is clean, move the floss up and over the gums to the neighboring tooth. Push both ends of the floss back to create the C-shape again and use the wiping motion to remove the plaque from the other tooth. With careful home cleaning, your teeth and gums have the best chance of staying healthy. 
Even with proper home care, it is still possible to miss areas of your teeth. These are the areas your hygienist will need to clean during your next scheduled office visit. If plaque is left in the same location for a long time, it hardens into calculus. This calculus must then be manually removed with special instruments designed for that purpose. Once it is confirmed that all of the soft and hard deposits are removed from your teeth, your hygienist will polish your teeth to make them very shiny and smooth, further defending against plaque buildup. Regular checkups by your dentist are always necessary to assure that no other problems exist. With proper home care and regular office cleanings, your teeth can enjoy a long and healthy life.